Hello happy people, I'm back with another video and today I wanna to bring you all a quick tutorial on how I apply these Impress Press On Nails. These have been my recent new obsession. So I've already tried out a pair of these already. Um, this was the first pair that I ever wore and these lasted about a good seven days on me. Had a few pop off here and there, but um, with some brush on super glue, no, sorry, brush on nail glue, they lasted quite well um, and really served a great purpose for me. Um, these nails look like you just went to the salon and got your nails done, really enjoy them a lot. Um, and so I wanted to do some nails that had a cool fall theme um and so at first i was just going to do all orange with like a gold accent nail with these um but then i posted on instagram and by a landslide everyone wanted me to do these next so these are the ones i'm going to be applying um the difference between these two and this one is the fact that these are medium length and these are the short length and so this will be my first time trying out the short length nails but i'm gonna go ahead and hop right on in and show you all how i do it so the first thing that I do is um, I will roughen up the top of my nail bed and that's something I will do for all of the nails. Just roughen it up really quick just to give the glue something to adhere to. Now when I wear these nails um, I do tend to carry around the brush on super glue just in case anything pops off well actually i never had a nail pop off it's just the, the 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 glue got a little loose and so i would just um apply it underneath it and it would stick on so and all of the nails that i reapplied i think i only had to do like three nails like that but all the ones that i reapplied with the nail glue it turned out just fine they never popped off again and actually i had a pretty hard time when i went to remove these nails um especially for the ones in which I had applied the nail glue. So they probably would have lasted me another week had I let it, but I was ready to take them off and I needed to do my hair. So yeah, so I roughed up the nail bed a little bit. Next, what I like to do with these nails in particular is I like to trim my nails down. Typically for the medium length ones, I probably wouldn't have uh, such a hard time. I probably could leave my nails the same length, but since these are a lot shorter, I'll have to, um, you know, make sure my nail isn't longer than the actual nail itself. So as you can see here, my nail is a lot longer than that. So I'll be, I hope these nails actually end up working out for me though, cause let's see, yeah, it doesn't really go down too far from my nail. We'll see here. I hope these work out. If not, then I'll just go with my second option here. But my nail bed seemed to be a bit long for these particular nails, so. We will see. But I think if I trim my nails down a little bit, it should be okay. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and trim them down super short so that um, they will fit underneath those press-ons. So now my nails are all trimmed and ready to go. They're super short, so that means that the nail on top should be able to easily cover my natural nail bed. So. This is all what comes inside of the package. You get 30 nails, and um, normally it tells you how many accent nails you get, but this one doesn't, but you'll get 30 nails in total, so you just have to go through and size up your nails. I like to go ahead and line it up first. Also in the package, you do get the prep pad. This is really important. It's just an alcohol wipe, um, but you'll definitely wanna make sure you rub down your nails really good to get rid of the excess nail oil, and then also they have like a little mini file in here. I don't typically use it, but it's there if you need it. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this to the side. That's the prep pad. I am gonna use this orange stick. This is a cuticle pusher. I'm gonna use that to push back my cuticles and leave that there as well. So let's go through, go ahead and pour them out and then size up your nails. This is probably the most tedious part for doing this. You want to make sure you find a nail that uh, fits your nail bed perfectly. If you are debating between two nails, one that's too short and one that's, uh, one that's too small and one that's too big, you definitely always want to go with the one that's a little bit smaller um, so you can make sure it covers the full nail bed. So as you can see on mine, it looks like my thumbnail a little bit is going to be showing on both sides unless they have a bigger one. Let's see, they have a number one too. Let's see what that looks like. 
Yeah, the one looks too small and the zero looks like that's probably the widest it go. So these shorter nails, they don't cover my nail bed is great, but I don't think that no, anyone's really gonna notice that. So I got two zeros here. These are numbered. Um, so on the plastic right here, I don't know if you all can see it or not, but it has a number zero and this is the clear backing here. So I'm gonna go ahead and line these up. So these are my thumbnails. And then that's a number three. Well, that's what's left over. I'm gonna just put that over to the side. So these are the ones, this is the design I will be doing. Oh, did I make some? Okay, so it's gonna look like this. All right, perfect. So the next thing you want to do is you want to wipe down. You want to push back your cuticles. Cuticles are all pushed back. Nails have been buffed and filed. Um, as per the instructions, the first thing you need to do is try. The first thing you need to do is use the don't miss prep pad, step one. So I'm just going to try this open. Again, it's just a little alcohol wipe. And you want to make sure that you rub down on each nail and get all of the excess oils off. So I'm just gonna go through and rub really good in every corner and crevice of the nail to make sure that it adheres perfectly. Again, the nail comes like this, it has a little tab with a number on it and then on the back, you can see that's where the glue is. All you wanna do is peel back that layer. What I like to do is I push, put the nail in underneath my cuticle and then I make sure it is lined up perfectly push it in, line up, that looks good, and then I will start to press. And when you press, that's when it kind of activates the glue. And having it underneath the cuticle makes it last a little bit longer. I know a lot of people have issues with their hair snagging, um, but what I'll do is I'll, um, look at that, so pretty, my goodness, such a cool invention. Anywho, um, so yeah, press down on both sides, press down in the middle, hold it for a little bit. And then pressing down, that's something you're probably gonna continue to do throughout um, the rest of the day, just to make sure it adheres properly. So again, oops, that stuck to my hand. <laughs> so again, you wanna just put it on the nail, get it underneath the cuticle, that's the key here, put it underneath the cuticle. There we go, make sure it's straight. That looks straight to me, and then you press down. And so I'm gonna press down in the middle. I'm gonna press down on both sides. And yeah, that's it. Look how beautiful that is. Nails are all done. So, so cute. Only downfall to these short nails is that the side of it doesn't fully cover my nail bed, which makes me a little sad, honestly, because I think they look a little more natural when they're more covered. But I feel like someone has to be looking at my nails pretty darn hard to see that. Um, but yeah, this is how the short ones look. This is my first time doing the short version of the nails, but I think they turned out absolutely stunning. So one last thing you wanna do is, these aren't too bad, but um, a lot of them have like the little manufacturing tab on it. I don't, like I said, I don't really use that little tiny one, but you just want to file it gently to make it look even. Some nice manicured nails in like five minutes. So I took my time with them, but y'all can really do this in like five minutes. This is it for the impress nails. Again, these nails take really literally about five minutes. The The longest part is actually prepping your, your nail to um, to go on the prepping your natural nails for these to go on. But overall, really cute, really quick, really simple. I hope you all enjoyed this super quick tutorial on impressed nails. I absolutely love these. These normally last me up to about seven days. I'm sure you can get two week wear out of them if you apply them properly. Um, yeah, let me know your thoughts down below if you all have used these nails and how you like them. And uh, leave some love in the comments down below and I'll see you in my next video. I hope you have a wonderful, awesome, spectacular day. Bye.